Good morning, my friends. It is early, early on April 17th, Easter morning, and I'm here with you. My cat is very happy to eat. And I have a beautiful painting to show you on this Easter morning. This is by D. Wooten Beggarly, member of our parish, and it is three fish swimming upstream in joy. We Christians are now swimming upstream as we live in a world that is no longer a Christian world, but only has remnants of some of the language and practice. Early this morning, the women went to the tomb. They had been waiting all day yesterday and they came to anoint Jesus's body. And when they arrived, his body was gone. He would later appear many times over many days, which is why Easter is a season, not a day. He would appear and he would let them touch him and he would talk to them and eat with them and show them the most important message of all, that he was alive. Christians believe in life after death, eternal life. We don't just believe in a heavenly place where people sit around playing harps. We believe that life itself continues beyond this life and that this life is a training ground, um, a preface of a book for that life, which is so full and great and life means change and growth. We continue to do that in eternal life and to dance as the fish swim upstream. To really understand the resurrection is to live your life entirely differently because this is a training ground. The point of this life is not to enjoy it as much as you can although enjoyment isn't a bad thing, but our perspective is this. How can I get ready to see you, Lord? What do I need to do to meet you, Lord? How can I serve you, Lord? How can I get myself ready? We're like a bride who's waiting to meet the one that she loves and getting ready. And we see pictures and we hear words and we say prayers all for the time where we will see Jesus. So everything we do is directed differently. Everything. We are a people who swim upstream now in this world in which everyone tries to avoid dying and tries to enjoy themselves as much as possible and wants to avoid suffering. We can bring hope and meaning to this world because death doesn't have the last word. Let us pray. Almighty God, on this holy, holy day, give us a glimpse and insight into what it means to love you and to follow you through this life into a next life, a new life, a life that goes on forever us to understand how this perspective, this resurrection life, changes everything for us. Give us a glimpse into the meaning of your love and into our relationship with you that is so much more important and transcends all other relationships. All others are just reflections of our relationship with you. Turn our hearts to do your work in this world, Lord and fill us with joy. Bless the people of Ukraine. Guide us as to how to act and what to do, how to stand in solidarity with them. Bless all the peoples of this earth, Lord, and guide us. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Happy Easter.